Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Mod Showcase video. In today's video we're looking at another set of modded weapons and these are called the Energy Weapons Turret Pack, which are these lovely things right here. So these are a set of both small and large block turrets and rockets for you to place around and even have your enemies use against you. So once you've added it in through the mod menu, you'll be able to spawn in the twin 14mm laser PDC turret, which is this lovely thing right here, and the quad 100mm pulse plasma turret, which is this thing over here. It comes in both large and small blocks, their sizing is the same, and the ammo they generate is based on the power of the grid, and not the assembler building the ammo itself. Come over to this one right here, we're going to have a quick look at the models and then we're going to shoot it against this lovely wall over here. Then I'll let the pirates take over them and we'll fly some ships close to them. And if you're using a enemy spawner mod, these are fully compatible with that so the AI can use these on their ship to blast you with them if you want to do that. Yes, over here is the laser PDC turret, it's a fantastic looking thing. We've got some lovely warning strips on the back there, We've got some warning strips around the actual barrel itself. And moving all the way around over to here, this is then the very front. If you were to continue around the side on this thing, we've got our lovely blue arrows, which is very useful when spawning this in, because the barrel itself doesn't pop in until you place it on the grid. If we get a little bit closer over to here, we can see it says 14mm laser PDC. Then all the way around to the very back here, we've got some more warning signs. Over here we can see a small little symbol, I'm not too sure what that is, but we also then have a laser with a little blue thing. It's almost like a toilet brush, but you kind of get what's going on there. We can see another little warning label over here about shoving your hand inside it. If I was just to drop down underneath, there is a connection point that's fully compatible with the large conveyors. We generally don't have to worry about this unless of course you pulled out some ammunition from a turret that you destroyed and you want to shove it into one of your own. Yes, if we move over to this one, this is the Pulse Plasma turret. Once again, we've got some lovely blue arrows pointing the front of the turret. Another little symbol right here and another little laser symbol over there. We've got some more arrows pointing all the way up so you know which way is up. And some lovely yellow strips that come all the way around to the very front here. And here we go. So we've got some lovely white and red stripes at the barrel of this rocket launcher. And we've got four little holes for it to shoot out of. Once again, a nameplate stating the Plasma Turret MK1. As we move around to this side right here, some of the little labels that we just saw. And at the very back, we do have a small little air vent so we can release all the heat it's generating. Over to here, this is the back where we've got another name label. Once again, we do have a connection point underneath. Then all the way up to the very top there, that is the very top. And we can't really make that out because it is pitch black and there's not too much detail you can see on it because of it. But there you go, you can just about make out the little lumps and bumps right there. And yes, as for everything else for the small block stuff, they are basically identical. It's just that they run on a small block. If I was to come into the G menu and find them in here, we can see that the large and the small block cost the same, so you don't have to worry about if one's going to be more expensive. Just use whichever is convenient. And you see the costs are right there, so it's not too bad. The superconductors are the only problematic part of building this, so you will need to be fairly advanced to be able to get them. But without further ado, I think it's time for me to grab hold of my character and we can just get inside here. So bringing up the I menu and coming into here, we don't have too much controls. They can go up to some rather impressive distances, so the plasma turret can go up to 1,500 and the PDC can go all the way up to 1,200. We've got the standard stuff for the turrets, idle movements, meteors, target missiles and all that and nothing else. And while we're here, we will just take control over the large block turret and just shoot that around. And it has been clearly labeled. You can see it says LB for large block, small block, and then we got a small pulse turret over there. Yes, we can just come into here and take control, use it like a regular turret, firing it. Got a lovely custom sound effect and lasers coming out of them. And it is a probably good idea to mention that this requires at least two megawatts of power in order to generate its ammo. And for the other turret sitting right next to me, it requires 5 megawatts of power, so you can use batteries to do this instead of reactors. Yes, if I was to find the free camera and bring it all the way over to here, we'll just fire it once again. So there we go, we are moving it all the way around. And then firing it, there is the lasers coming out of them. So there we are, we'll just switch that off. 
And then we'll come across over to this one, which is the Pulse Plasma Turret. And we'll just go ahead and set up the controls once again. So I'll find the Pulse Plasma Turret, drag it down there, switch it to shoot on and off. We'll come into the I menu and take manual control over it. Here we go, this is our HUD screen. And we can zoom all the way in and start firing it. Do get custom sound once again. And there we go. So just coming into here and looking at the animations of it turning around. There's it turning up and down. And we can spin it all the way around. Let's bring the sun back around because it is a bit fiddly. There we go. We can see it has nice reflections all the way on it. And if we were to come into here, come out of that properly, bring the free camera all the way around and fire it. There we go. That is what it looks like. Very nice stuff. And with that done, that is basically it for these turrets. The large block ones are the same as the small block ones. So I think it's time to shoot the wall in front of us. So coming all the way around over to here. In fact, we'll bring the free camera to this part right here. There we go. And what we're going to do is just align ourselves up with the block right there. We're going to come out of that, go into the free camera, and we're going to switch it on. And there we go. It's just gone straight through those light armor blocks very, very quickly. So it's going to rip through a very small block ship or even a large light armor ship very quickly. And I'm not too sure what has happened here. This is heavy armor blocks, but it seems to have distorted quite horrifically. Yes, we'll just come back into here and we will just take control over it again. There we go. We're now going to aim nice and close. We're going to shoot this block. And there we go. We're now just destroying the blocks right behind it. But I don't think it's going to be good enough to destroy those heavy armor blocks. There we are. We're now just pummeling it as much as possible. And we'll just come out of there and let it fire it by itself. Getting the free camera. It is trying very, very hard. I did have to double check there to make sure it was actually damaging the block. But heavy armor blocks is going to be its crux. It's not going to do too good against the heavily armored ship. So there we go. We'll just switch that off for the moment. Just coming over to the plasma turret. We're going, we're going to aim this up so it's over to here. There we go. We'll just go like that. And now we're going to come into the free camera once again. And we'll get a better view at it. So switching on the plasma turret. Here we go. That is quite some rapid fire. And we very quickly went through those light armor blocks. Doing a lovely four block wide area. And we did start to distort the blocks behind it. In fact, this wall is not doing very well whatsoever for our heavy armor block grid. But we're going to keep pummeling it. And we're going to do a nice lot of damage. Wow, that is a lot of splash damage. I'm now just going to reverse away. And it should eventually get through it. So switching off to seeing the damage done. It's just torn away half of the light armor blocks. But it's doing... Well, it's struggling quite a lot with the heavy armored. Coming all the way behind there. That is a very poorly blocked. But we just keep going. Until it finally goes all the way through. And there we go. That took quite some time for it to bore a little hole. And there is a tiny little hole in there. That was going for at least a good 30 seconds, which I've edited out. It seems to be very good against light armor. Not so good against heavy armor. But that is perfectly fine for a turret set. Because you don't want it to be overpowered against everything. Because that just makes things boring. But now we can come into the small block version. So over there. And we're going to take control over the... Oh, let's go for the PDC first of all. So we're going to take control of it. Aim forward at what's remaining of the light armor blocks. And there we go. Now we're just going to fire it. And we've gone all the way through. Now it's not going to be a too fair of an example. I should probably replace the wall. Because it's going to be heavily damaged from the rocket turret. But we'll just keep shooting it over there. And it should be identical to the large block grid. And over by the wall we can see it's made quite a dent. And there it goes. That took quite some time for it to go through. Yes it seems to be identical to the large block one. As far as I'm aware. We'll just switch that off. We're coming to here for the final one, which is going to be the small block plasma turret. Taking control of that, aligning it up over here. This is probably going to finish off the light armor block wall completely. Yes, we'll just come out there, come back over to here, and start firing it. And there it goes once again. A very rapid fire thing. And now it's just going to start pummeling away at the heavy armored blocks. In fact, we'll just switch on everything. There we go. Let's just go and destroy this wall. Of course, that's not going to do too much with these two because they've already made a hole and they're going to come all the way through. But there we are. We just switch all them off once again. And for one final thing, what we're going to do is make it generate ammunition while looking at this lovely LCD screen. So this is the Power Graph script. It's very useful to know what you're using and where you're running into problems. 
And we've got our singular battery, which is just hidden around the corner. So we're just going to come into here, we're going to find our turrets, we're just going to pull it out, and we can see that it's just generating the ammunition quite quickly. Coming out there and walking over to here, we can see the usage that just spiked all the way up to 2.1 megawatts, so we are perfectly fine at using a battery to power this thing. But of course, in the long run, you will want to have some kind of renewable power, be it a reactor or a solar panel attachment, but that's entirely up to you. So the final thing to do to end this video is, of course, give the turrets to the pirates. I'm going to fly a ship over it to see what happens. So just coming into here and making myself untargetable, we're going to let the turrets basically go nuts. And here we go. We want them to have absolutely everything on here. Send it to the space pirates. And there we go. They should start blasting that wall. In fact, no, they won't blast the wall, will they? They don't target steel blocks. Silly me. We're just going to come into this menu. We're going to find the Dex Fighter, first of all. Right, so here is the partly modified Dex Fighter. Being the workshop doesn't seem to want to load any of the blueprints. We're just going to drop it down right here. <laughs> and there it goes. The rocket turrets are going to do majority of the work, which is kind of a shame. In fact, we're just going to delete them. So they don't mess up everything. We're just going to spawn in a brand new one. And there we go. Can't really see the lasers. In fact, I'm not sure what's going on with that. We are doing a fair job at tearing that thing apart and get rid of all the internals. Now, do I have something bigger that we can spawn in and let them go nuts from a distance? And yes, before I spawn in the albatross, they are taking their time at destroying that thing, which is very nice to see with a turret. It means it's fairly balanced, but this is going to be a um, bit of a crap fest, I think, because I forgot about the turrets on here. So there they go, it's going to be turret versus turret. Are they going to be able to do it? No, they are not. They're just going to get torn to shreds by the albatross. And there we go. I suppose I could come over here and find all the turrets. And turn them all off. Place down some more turrets onto this grid. In fact, this is looking like a very poorly grid now. So we just go like that. Spawn in a few more turrets. Let's just go... Oh, let's just make a load of them. Let's make a load of them. This is basically the end of the video, so if you want to click off it, there you go. There'll be a link in the description. But I'm just going to get myself a reactor. There we go. Now we're going to give this to the space pirates. And off they go. Look at them go. Wow. It's like an old timey printer just slowly deleting a ship. It's quite a lot of gunfire. Woof, there goes a hydrant tank. And what is it like on the receiving end at looking at that? There is quite a lot of damage. But yes, that is pretty much it for the Energy Weapons Turret Pack Mark 1. They're a lovely set of weapons to play around with if you are looking for something relatively balanced to add to your world. And yes, they're now starting to move the ship around by the force of the laser bullets. Anyway, yes, there'll be a link to it in the description below if you do wish to download and play around with it yourself. And I'll be back with another video some point soon. Bye bye.